Hi everyone, my name's Anne-Marie. Welcome to this card making project. In this project we're going to use a few papers from a couple of different ranges from Anna Griffin. We're going to make a gorgeous card that's a little bit different but very similar to something that we've made before and you'll see what I mean as I go on. I'm starting off with my base card. Now this is a 7x7 seven seven inch card on our cardometer, just a short of. And that gives you a comparison of what size and how it looks. You could use this style on a 7x5 card, um, which I know is very popular across the pond. So don't panic if you haven't got this size. It's the same with any of them. You don't have to use this base. You can adapt it to whatever you've got in your stash. So as always, I'm going to start with the inside. Everything I use, I'll put a list at the bottom in the description box. Click the word show more to be able to see all the descriptions and the links. So I'm starting off and I'm just going to add a layer of ivory paper. This is, I'm saying paper, it's the ivory that I always use. It's not quite a text weight paper and it's not quite a card. It's roughly about 100 to 120 GSM. So it's a little bit thicker than the text weight. And I've added double sided tape to the back of it already. So I'm just going to position that in the centre of our card. Now one of the papers that I'm going to be working with is from the Seafarer collection. And it's the stripy gold and ivory paper. Now what I've done is I've cut a section for the inside and it was a section from my scrap paper actually and all I've done is stamped it repeatedly on the ivory parts and then just cut into it and stepped it all the way up and I think that makes quite an effective part for our insert because we spend so much time doing the outsides of our cards when somebody opens it up and if they just see a plain happy birthday in the middle, you know, we want to jazz it up a little bit and make it just as nice on the inside. So that gives us a great insert and we've still got room to write on for our sentiment. So going to the outside now, I'm just going to make sure, as always, I've got a good sharp score along the edge so that my card will stand up nicely. The next thing I'm going to do is add a layer of card. Now this is from the Madison collection. So as you can see it's an ivory base again on the paper with the gold stars. I've already added double sided tape on the back of it and I'll just peel this away like this nice and quick and position this on the front of our card just so there's a little edge showing around it like that not too straight but not to worry you'll be able to get it straighter at home you're not holding round a camera and looking down and oh dear so the next thing that I've got is I've used one of Anna's metallic layers I've cut out the centre of it and I've actually put 3D foam on the back of it already and I'm just going to position that on the centre of our base layer. So already that looks really pretty, nice and shiny. I must have been a magpie in a previous life because look how shiny that is. Okay, so next what I've done Previously, we've had a demonstration about how to make the rosettes. So what I thought was, we're sticking with the theme of mixing everything together, but keeping it um, really uh, salubrious, I would say. Maybe, you know, just luxury on this card. So this is, again, from the Seafarer collection. It's the gold and the ivory paper. And I've made two rosettes. And what I've done is I've added double sided tape on the back of them ready so that I can position them on the card. Now this is the bit where it's very similar to a card that we've made previously because I'm going to pop these 
in the centre of the card and adding them like this so that they overlap a little bit in the middle but the card would still go in an envelope so there we've got those in the middle next what I've done is again from the ivory and the gold stripy paper I've taken a section of them and I've stamped happy birthday at both sides and slightly curled it so I've done it four times for both sides and I'm simply going to position these at either side of our rosettes. Now I've already added the glue on them just to save a little bit of time because there's quite a few of them. I'm not going to put them in any particular order or trying to make them nice and neat. I'm just positioning them on the card so that they're in a, a random selection, shall we say, of the way that they look. So let's do the last two. There we go. Pop that under. Now I've put the rosettes on first purely so that I knew where the sentiments were going to go. Um, at home, you'll be able to position it all and maybe do it without putting the ros rosettes on first. But obviously, I have to do it all in one go. So those are our sentiments down the side of the card. The next thing I've got is one of Anna's glitter stickers. And I'm going to peel the back of this away. And I am going to add a little bit of glue to it as well. Only because... With the rosettes not having a solid edge for the sticker to adhere to, the bits that it will meet will need to be stronger on hold than other sections. Because if you're sticking the sticker to a flat surface, as you know, it'll just stick down. But because there's only limited amount of space where the two edges are going to meet then it's just a little bit of an extra help to stick the sticker down. So let's pop that down like that. There we go. And I might just have to hold it for a few seconds just to help it stick down. But uh, there we go. That's sticking nicely now. So the last thing that I've got is one of the middle sentiments from the layers collection. Anna's got the perfect layers, the nifty nested layers and the gorgeous. But I've been left with a few sentiments after using the layers. So I thought this would sit nicely. I've inked the edge of it with French gold from Anna's ink pads. And again, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the back just to help it stick to the glitter because, you know, sometimes glitter can be a bit of a, a nightmare to stick to. So I'll pop that in the middle. And then the last thing I've got is a gold bow. So I've already added one of my little glue dots to it and I'm going to position that at the top there. And that is our card finished. Now, you can see how it's based on a previous card that we've done with the two rosettes in the middle, even though it looks completely different. And it is really a totally luxury, luxury card. And I think that is absolutely gorgeous. And I just hope you agree. So I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Please don't hesitate to comment. I love hearing from you. I, I do get back to everybody. I will mention that if I get a rude comment, then I delete it. So for anybody who watches and thinks they're going to send me anything rude, I, I don't publish those because it's not fair on the people that watch and enjoy watching, etc. 
So I really hope you've enjoyed this and I look forward to hearing your comments and what you think and see you again next time.